Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode number 36. <laughs> I think I've been forgetting to say that in the last episodes. Okay, first, this is late. Um, it is Friday right now. A little after 2. It's about 2.20. And I'm just not filming, obviously. I've been having issues with my phone, and I'm actually in the process of switching my phone out for a new one. And I'm on the new one right now, but I don't know. It, it, it's almost dead, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it filmed and uploaded or transferred to my Dropbox before it dies so if it doesn't i'll be filming on my old camera and it'll, the quality will be different but you won't see this so you won't know well, i mean you'll notice the quality anyways welcome back to the show <laughs> um welcome to all the new subscribers i'm almost to 800 which is so cool um i will talk about my giveaway later uh in the announcements part which i always well i usually put it on the front but i'm going to put it on the end this time <laughs> um yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop in. I look like a hot mess because I've been cleaning. Jesse went to my mom's this afternoon and I've been cleaning a lot after. And watching This Is Us. And I just got to a really sad episode and I really hate those writers. But <laughs> but I'm going to keep watching it. I'm on season two now. I think I'm on episode number nine. So oh, number eight. My hair looks bad. I've been cleaning like crazy. Anyways, let's just get on to the crochet. That's what you guys are here for. All right, finished objects. I got four things finished this week. They're all really small, though, and um, none of them are things I had going last week, I don't think, except the octopus. I'm pretty sure I had this little octopus. Let's see here. It's Mini Amigurumi Octopus by Sarah Hearn. It's a free pattern. I think it's cute. I've made eight of these. This is not the one I've made. It's just a um, little octopus. Everybody makes them. Um, Randy makes them a lot. Ah. And... Uh, Sean makes them a lot. But yeah, he's made with a F hook. I think an F hook. And the yarn is, I love this yarn, Painted Canyon. It's just a scrap ball I had and I thought it was cute. And it, I like the way it's striped. It just looks neat. But yeah, so this is the ninth one I'm making for the um, <clears throat> Earth Day Fair thingy that I'm going to be putting some stuff in. And let's see here. That's a free pattern, like I said. The other thing that I finished, I made one of these before. But it's not either of these ones. It's one I made for my nephew. But they're two little tooth fairy pillows. And then I got pockets on the back for the kids to put their teeth in. So the tooth fairy, tooth fairy, tooth fairy can pick them up, you know, easier than if they're under the pillow. You don't have to worry about waking up the kid while, you know, switching out tooth for money. <laughs> but yeah, I made two of these the other day. I just wanted to make them for the um, Earth Day thing. And those are... The Tooth Fairy Pillow by Sarah Zimmerman, which is Repeat Crafter Me. I think he's just so cute. Pretty easy to make. Um, I made it with Red Heart Super Saver White and a little bit of black for the mouth. And this was just safety eyes. And then this is felt. And that's felt. You're supposed to use a ribbon for this part, but I ran out of ribbon, so I just used some elastic that I had. Because, you know, I thought that, you know, it works. It works. <laughs> And that's a free pattern. Did I already say that? The pattern calls for an H hook, but when I made the first one, I started with H and the holes are just too big because of my tension. It might not be that way for you, but for me it was. So I went down to a G hook and it closed it up better. So I did use a G hook. That pattern is a written pattern, I think. It's not a PDF. Yeah, it goes to her website. I think all of her patterns do. And the last finished object that I have, I made this last night. I mean, Jesse was sitting on our bed watching um, his cartoons. So, and it is da -da, an elf bomb. <laughs> the elf's a little wonky, but that's alright. These are really popular right now, so I thought I'd make a few of those and send them with all the other stuff to the um, Earth Day thing. <laughs> Earth Day Market. I keep forgetting what it's called. And this is called the Elf Bomb by Liz Jelsma. That's not right. Gelsma, Gelsma, Gelma. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be linked below. Uh, this is a free PDF. And let's see here. I made it with a G hook. I think the pattern calls for a 4 and... No, a 4.25 and I used a 4. Or vice versa. I can't remember. <laughs> this is Red Heart Super Saver Black. Uh, red Hot and White. This one takes tiny bits of each of those. And fiber fill. I actually have... Um, Five more elves, five more of the, what are these things called? What are these things called? The wick? Is that wick? Fuse. Um, five more of those made. 
and I'm working on another balm right now. I went ahead and made these because Jesse was falling asleep in my lap and I couldn't get to my scissors. Was it my scissors? No, I had scissors. I couldn't, something about the black, I couldn't get to it or something. So I just went ahead and made all the elves in the little white parts. Um, hold on, I just got text messages, my mom. But um, I think they're cute. You know, I know a lot of people don't like cuss words and stuff, but these are real popular. I've been seeing them all over Instagram and Facebook and people asking for them to be made. So I thought I'd just make a few to send. And they are little, you know, they're like hand sized. I threw it at Devin earlier. And um, Jesse was playing with it and he was saying ball and he'd say elf. <laughs> and I said, yeah, it's an elf on there. <laughs> he doesn't know what it means, but he knows it's an elf. So that's good. But yeah, that's all my finished objects. I, just a bunch of little amigurumis, which have been my most favorite thing to make lately. I love making quick projects that I can do while sitting around with Jesse. Did I already say that that was a free pattern? I think I did. Yeah, it's a PDF. I said that. I said that. That's all my finished objects. Um, I was hoping to get Miss Super Snappy done, but to get something done, you typically have to work on it, and I didn't work on her. I just haven't felt like working on her, so she's probably, it's going to take her a while to get done, I think. So... Whips. It brings us into whips, which is first one is super snappy. I'll pop up a picture of her if I can remember. I didn't even bring the bag over here because she looks exactly the way she did last week. I didn't touch her at all. I don't even think I touched the bag. <laughs> but she is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates. Um, everybody knows that I love Heidi Yates. She's snappy tots. Um, I'm making Miss Super Snappy with an H hook, and the yarns is her skin color is all of this yarn, light peach. And then I have Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst. Orchid and Light Raspberry. That's the one I always can't remember. But I remembered it this time. I wrote it down. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to have to actually stop this for a second to so go see what my mom said. <laughs> okay. I checked my message. It's just my mom. She's coming by later to drop off a phone charger that she gave me earlier. Anyways, I was just talking about Miss Super Snappy. <laughs> I do love that pattern. And I think she's going to be so cute when she gets done. It's just for some reason I'm not into it. I think I'm just into little things right now. I don't know. I go through phases. And I've also noticed another thing lately, especially because of the YouTube videos. I've been like putting a lot of pressure on myself to finish things because I feel like I need to show more finished objects on the videos. But um, I'm trying hard not to do that because I know you guys don't care if I have a thousand finished objects. You just want to see what I've done and what I'm doing and all that stuff. So I'm trying to like get that out of my head that I have to have a ton of stuff every week done. The next whip I also didn't touch at all, and it is the snowman pixel square for the Afghan, the Christmas Afghan. I always say that word. That Terry is hosting over at Yondroid Podcast on her Facebook group. She's hosting a crochet along, and we are in the fourth month, and I'm on the third square, which is, was March's, and I just didn't get around to it in March. <sighs> it's a mouthful, but it's a snowman. I'll pop a picture of it too. A really weird noise. I guess that was my neighbor's. Uh, cause I haven't messed with it at all. I've been wanting to, but it's hard to do something like a corner to corner when Jesse's home, and he's been home all week. So I haven't been able to sit down and do that because you know I have so much little um, bobbins of yarn, and I have to keep cutting. You know, it's just hard to do something like a corner to corner with a lot of color changes with Jesse around because he wants all of the balls and all the you know everything he wants, and he loves my stitch markers, especially like the dangly ones that um. Like this one. This one Hannah sent me a little bee. He wants them every time he sees them. So it's hard to work on things that aren't just simple little projects when he's here. Alright. But the the Snowman Pixel, Pixel Square and the whole blanket. It was designed by Sarah Zimmerman, which is repeat craft after me. Um, it's in mini corner to corner. I'm using an elf hook. I didn't notice something the other day though. My first square, the Santa one, came out bigger than my second square. The... Christmas tree one or vice versa One's bigger than the other I can't remember which way it is, but I'm gonna have to deal with that I think it's because I used red heart super saver on one and on the other I used uh, Walmart mainstays But you know you throw a border around it and maybe no one will know this <laughs> and I'm making this blanket for my mom So I don't think she'll care. I'm planning on backing it with like a Christmas print um, fleece I always say felt but I mean fleece and so it'll be nice and warm and also so I don't have to weave in all my ends. <laughs> I've just been tying them in knots because I'm a cheater. <laughs> I keep hearing weird noises. I guess it's my neighbor. Better be my neighbor. <laughs> all right, my last whip. Well, second to last whip. I'm, I forgot to write this one down. 
my second to the last whip. I've been working a lot on this guy. <laughs> this is um, Jesse's octopus, and my hook is not in there. Uh oh, oh, I don't know where it's at. And, um, I showed this a little bit on one of my crochet and chat videos. A big piece of plastic just went blowing by the window, but um, I don't know what that was—a bag or something. And I was working on it, and I only had like that much of it done. And then I posted a picture on the Facebook group of like the whole head done, and I had it on like a hat. And then, so this is the whole head. And then I got four of the top part of the tentacles. I gotta do four more tentacles on this side, and then there's a bottom part that goes on the back of the tentacles. That's the different color, and you know covers that up. And then you gotta make the big old eyeballs. So I am getting there. This is turning out smaller than the pattern because I'm using a smaller hook. The pattern calls for L, I think. An L or an M. And I didn't have an L or an M. I have an N and then a K, so I went with K. And, uh, I, you know, it's still huge. It's still going to be big, especially to Jessie, so. And I like it. I feel like the tentacles are short, but, you know, it's still going to be cute. And, yeah. I got the tentacle pattern in my brain. I was sitting there doing that while watching TV. Yeah, it's so squishy, I love it. And I used this whole part right here down to, I already weaved in my ends, but down to almost the bottom of this was one of the jumbo skeins of Bernat um, blanket. I can't remember how big it is, but it's the big one that's $10. And then I attached one of the smaller ones that is the ones from Walmart. It's the same kind of yarn, but it's I think three, almost four dollars a ball. I got four of those to finish it with, and I think I may only need three. But um, I've done the four tentacles, like two rounds of this part, and then the four tentacles, and I still have probably enough for another tentacle and like some. I balled it up because it got all floppy. <laughs> so I think with the other ball, with one of the other balls, I'll be able to attach it and do the other tentacles, and I may not even need the last two. Um, if I do, it's alright. I'll use a little bit and then I'll just make some sort of little amigurumi or just a ball or something out of the leftover for Jesse to play with because he loves balls and stuff. So, yeah, I think it's turned out cool. It still looks like a hat with tentacles on it now. See, it's like a tentacle hat. <laughs> it's a little big. <laughs> it's a little big for my head, but look, it looks like a slouch hat with tentacles. That's kind of cool. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah I'm hoping to get him done really soon because I'm, I'm excited to see him done and Jesse has no idea what it is yet he's only barely had any like he pays more attention to this when I'm working on it than he does to the actual thing so he has no idea what it's going to be and he has no idea that it's for him but um, I wanted to work on that a lot because I was afraid I wouldn't get it done in time for his birthday party but I mean it's coming together really fast and I guess it's because it's blanket yarn it's you know it's big fat yarn big fat hook so it's coming together really quickly and I can't wait to see it done I do wish um the white color that I have for it is called I think cupcake or something like that and it's not a white it's like a yellowy white I'm thinking about instead of using that just going ahead and buying some white because you know I just don't want it to look weird with that weird dingy yellow color I'm sure that yellow would be nice as something else but I kind of want white on that so I may just buy some white my other whip is the elf bomb <laughs> Uh, I forgot. Oh, wait. I didn't say anything about the octopus. The octopus is a paper pattern. And it was gifted to me. But uh, it is by Mama Mosley Creations. I think it's like 4 or $5. And I already said that I'm using a K-hook instead of an L. And I think that that is Bernat Blanket Dark Gray. <clears throat> I think it's dark gray or light gray. But I think it's dark gray. And then the last whip that I am working on is the elf bomb. I already got all the elves and uh, fuses made, like I said. So I just have to make five more of these, well, four and a half, <laughs> and then five more of those little tops that the fuse is sticking out of. And they're super fast patterns. Like, the first one I made in way less than an hour while sitting in there with Jesse, and then I just started this one today. And uh, I just started this a little while ago, and it's already that far done, so I'll hopefully we'll be getting that done. And the other one's done real soon. It's living in my little bunny bag, my Easter bag. I think it's so cute and it's got that in there. But yeah, let me just let me throw this in there. All right, can't pick it up. <laughs> the lighting's really weird because it's gloomy outside, so my face probably looks weird. 
Plus, I'm tired and I don't really feel all that good. And I've been cleaning, so I just look like a hot mess. I probably should have brushed my hair or something, but whatever. Y'all don't care, do you? <clears throat> That's all my finished objects and all my whips so far. There's an, there's another amigurumi that I found a pattern of this morning or last night. I can't remember that I want to make. And if I like it and it's really quick to come together, I might make a few more for the Earth Day thing. Because I've only got a couple more weeks to make stuff for that. So right now I'm going to for sure make those elf bombs and then possibly these little cats. Because they're cute little cats. But if not, I just want one of those cats for myself. I'm not even a cat person. I prefer dogs way over cats. Like, I don't really like cats that much. But, I mean, I don't hate them. But I just, I would pick a dog over a cat any day. <laughs> I'm a dog person. But, yeah, that's all the crochet stuff right now. <laughs> all the crochet projects. Now I'm going to go into, I have acquisitions, but I'm going to make their own video for that. Because I made one, a Happy Mail from Barbara which is awesome and it's already up so you guys can go watch it and then I got another one today from Val and uh, I'm gonna make a separate video for that because it's awesome too I can't wait to like use these yarns but um, announcements I almost said acquisitions <laughs> announcements okay one is about my giveaway first of all it's already out and released for about a week I think um, most of you guys already know it because you've already entered it. <laughs> I've been liking everybody's comments. I haven't responded because it's a lot to respond to. So I'm just liking them to let you know that I've read them and that you're entered. And, um, I do plan on doing a little video about all the comments, about all the tips, you know, like pointing them out, reading them or whatever. I thought that'd be a neat idea. So, um, that giveaway is my appreciation giveaway for all my subscribers. Well, I'm closing in on a thousand, which is so cool. I'm almost to... 800 now I'm like I think last time I looked I was 789 or 790 somewhere around there <clears throat> which is so crazy like I can't even believe anybody wants to watch me nonetheless that many people that's a lot of people I mean like that's a lot of people <laughs> but um giveaway yes uh it ends on I have the wrong date written down here it does not end on the 5th the 5th was yesterday it ends on the 12th <laughs> Thursday, it's next Thursday, it ends that night, you know, midnight, or whenever, <laughs> my time, I live in Middle Tennessee, and I think it's central time, I don't know, I always forget, and plus we have two times, because of the uh, time changes and all that, yeah, I live really close to the eastern time change, I'm like, I'm like 40 minutes away from the eastern time change, but I am central time, if that makes any sense to you, I live in Middle Tennessee, I don't know if I said that, <laughs> but it ends next Thursday, uh, April 12th and then that next morning whenever I wake up and deal with Jesse <laughs> I will draw a winner um, I don't know if I'll film that or not I'll probably film it and then I will post a video of who won and that person has a whole week to get a hold of me you know to comment on the video to message me whatever um, with their information and I'll if they contact me within that week I will send it out to them if they don't that next Friday which one day is that Oh god <laughs> i should have written that down whatever the next friday is that'd be what the 20th i think it's the 20th <laughs> i will redraw another name and we'll just keep doing that until someone responds but i'm sure someone will respond hopefully <laughs> but um if you haven't entered the giveaway i will link it up in the icard which i think is up here um you just have to watch that video to see how to enter and then enter it and all likes and shares are appreciated because <laughs> the more uh, likes and shares the more I pop up and the more comments the more I pop up when people search crochet related things on um, well, not Facebook whatever YouTube and you know the more you share the more yarny people out in the world can see it <laughs> but um, I think that's everything about the giveaway yeah just go to the video and you'll learn how to enter and there's also a ton of great tips down there. I've been reading every one of them, and a lot of them is really nice. Some of them, some I haven't even heard before. That's why I'm wanting to make that video pointing them out, because I think that's a good thing to share. It's just all these tips to help make yarning life a smidge easier. And there's a surprising amount of new crocheters watching me. I think that's really interesting. So hello to all the people who are learning to crochet and are relatively new to it. I think that's neat. I wish I was better at, like, teaching. I would totally teach. I am planning on making a... What's it called? A tutorial? Like a pattern tutorial <laughs> soon because um, 
I contacted someone who posted a free pattern to see if I could make a video of their pattern and they were totally fine with it. I just have to get a right kind of tripod to hold my phone to film down uh, to get a good angle so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm hoping to do that soon. But next um, announcement is the cakewalk, which a lot of you guys are interested in. I keep looking over there because there's the high school is right behind us and there's a bunch of cars going through the parking lot because it's pickup time almost. I think it's like, yeah, it's like pickup time. Yeah, because it's 20 till 3. So, them kids are getting off. Like, they should already be off. I don't know. Anyways, the Cakewalk Cow that I'm co-hosting with Mo from Unseen Strands. It'll pop up up here and it'll also be linked below. She has an awesome um, podcast. She is visually impaired. So, she's not on a video like I am right now. She does, like, a traditional podcast. She talks um, through it, you know, <laughs> which I think is awesome because you can sit there and crochet and just listen to her. And I did that last night actually. I was making, um, I was doing something. Was it F bomb? I think I was working on F bomb or the octopus, one of the two, and listening to her newest episode. And um, it was one about Easter, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, she also in her Easter one she didn't, but in most of them she just pops up videos about the stuff that she's made or you know stuff like or not videos, pictures of you know the patterns and stuff that she's made. So it's really cool, and I love listening to her because, like I said, it's great to be able to listen to somebody crochet because you don't have to look at someone. But anyway, back to the cow. She will be hosting it on her Ravelry group, which will also be linked below. I will be hosting it on my Facebook group, so if you're not a member, it'll be linked below. Uh, go over there and join it. Every hundred people, I will give away a free pattern. Just throwing that in there. <laughs> but um, when it gets next week, it starts on April 14th, which I think is next Saturday. This next coming Saturday. Um... I will open a album in the photos of my group so that people can start making their patterns and entering it into the finished <clears throat> project album. The album will be for your finished projects and then just chatter can be on just the Facebook group. And um, you can enter as many projects as you want. I don't care in my group. Hers may be different. She hasn't made her, her threads yet. She sh she'll probably be making them soon so you can go over there and read like her guidelines. <laughs> But I don't care how many things you enter as long as they're finished. And But I do, my stipulation is I do need to be new projects. Like, I don't want you to start them today and be done and enter, like, three of them next Saturday. Just wait till Saturday, the 14th, and then start working on them. And you have all the way until October 14th to finish them. So you can make a lot of stuff between now and October. Excuse me. To enter the more entries you put in the better chance you have of winning the prize i will be giving away a prize on the facebook group and she will be giving away a prize on the rivalry group so and you can do both you can join both so there's a potential chance you could win both of them that would be awesome <laughs> but um, i mean a lot of people might be jealous but that'd be cool if you did <laughs> but um I haven't gotten my prizes all together, but, you know, I have, like, six months to worry about it. I do plan on making a project bag for the winter and maybe some stitch markers and probably some yarn. Who knows? I've got a while to grab a bunch of random stuff to um, put in there. And I'm, I thought about maybe having, like, a quarterly um, giveaway or maybe, like, what would a triple be? <laughs> Every two months, give away something little to participants because, you know, that'd be, like, motivation to do more. But it's cakewalk, so the the point of it is to use cake yarns, it's like um, Lion Brand Mandala, Karen Cakes, um, Premier Sweet Rolls, any of those fancy German ones people buy. <laughs> I don't know the fancy yarns, but any cake yarn that is already in cake form, you know, it's supposed to, it's meant to be like the cake yarns you buy at a store, not the ones you cake up yourself. <laughs> but um, to make anything, amigurumis, garments shawls, blankets, jewelry, if you know how to crochet little jewelry things, anything you can make, rugs, whatever, anything that's made out of crochet, um, I guess knit, I guess I'll, I'll allow knit, let me write that down, I don't know if she'll allow knit, I'm sure she will, but, um, knit or crochet, <laughs> so I guess it's a cow-cow, crochet along, knit along, or a mal, some people call it make along, Anyways, just any kind of little things you want to make and you have, like I said, six months to enter stuff in and just keep up with the chatter just for fun, you know, to see what other people are doing and so that we can see what you're doing. And then remember to post them in the folder that I've not made yet, but I will be making it closer to next Saturday. Just so I don't confuse people between now and then. And yeah, 
Let's see here. Did I already mention everything? I remember. Okay. I think I mentioned everything from my notes. <laughs> Use K eggs, Facebook group. Yeah. My rules. <laughs> I think that's everything about the cow. If I didn't say something and you're more interested in it, just leave me a question below or hit me up on the Facebook group. Or you can message me on Facebook because it's on there. But, um... The only other things I want to bring up just to remind people of is Terry's Cow at the Yarn Joy Podcast, which I'll link up there, and it'll be linked below. Um, the blanket, you still have time to catch up and join us. Uh, my thing just buzzed back there, <laughs> but um, it's a lot of fun. I just, it's, I seem to be really slow at uh, Corner to Corner. Oh, I thought it was my mother-in-law for a minute there back there, but she's at work still because she has kids that go to the high school. <laughs> I'm such, a, I need to shut the window because I keep looking out the window, but um it's awesome. I want to finish this blanket. I don't want to get behind like I did on my grease blanket, which is in hibernation again. But, and then the other cow that I'm still participating in, kind of, I haven't actually made anything for her, but you have all your, is Claudia from the Crochet Luna podcast, which I'll link up there and down there. Um, is the hashtag box of ornaments 2018 or 18. I can't remember the exact thing, but it's on her Ravelry group. Um, and it's just to make Christmas ornaments all year for Christmas. And then in November, she's going to like put together a swap, which I think is going to be a lot of fun because I did a swap two years ago and I got, it wasn't a crocheted ornament, but it was like a store bought one from England, which I thought was really cool. So it'd be cool to get a homemade one from like a real person out in the world somewhere from somewhere else. Um, it sounds very dumb, but, um, it's just neat to be able to connect with people that you may never meet in real life. And then you get to be friends with them through the internet or through mail oh my god i just remembered i forgot to write back my pen pal i just reminded myself of that that's what happens when you have toddlers i remember i got that last her letter last week and i laid it somewhere i gotta go find that and respond to her that's so horrible i'm a horrible pen pal <laughs> not usually usually i have a marker board that's magnetic and i stick everything on there but i don't even know where i did with that it's mislaid I'm sorry. I don't know if she watches me, but if you do, I'm sorry. I, I still know you exist and all that. I just forgot to write you back. That's horrible. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm going to hop off here and get this edited because my phone is almost dead and I need to get it done before it dies. But I am going to be coming out with a another Happy Mo video soon and probably a crochet and chat tomorrow. I'll film it because Jesse's going to be gone tomorrow. So he's at my mom's tonight and then tomorrow night he's going to go to Devin's dad's. So, I have two days in a row <laughs> with him gone. So, I, that's why I was cleaning. And then I still got a mop. <sighs> I hate mopping. I wish we had carpet. I can't wait to get a house and have carpet. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this done because um, my phone's dying. And I've already said that like three times. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh, one more announcement. I got a very exciting email today. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. But I'm going to wait till the correspondence continues and gets done. <laughs> But it's pretty exciting and it involves um, yarn. So I will talk about that more when I'm able to. But until then, I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be tomorrow. And this is hopefully, it's going to be out late today, but I'm going to try to get it out today. Um, yeah, it happens, life. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And all my links are below. Everything I talked about should be below. If I forgot anything, just give me a comment and tell me, Ella, you're getting frazzled. You need to slow down. And type out stuff. Because I get frazzled. I'm sure you guys noticed that I start talking really fast. Uh, it's just me. But anyways. Ugh, I do this every time. It's always so weird when I leave. I should just start cutting it out. And just like go black. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.